You'll want to know that Nello is a drinker for later. Oh, I don't think I'll forget, so don't worry. Ah, this is superb armor, not a scratch too. It's perfect. Must have been tough to get. I know I couldn't have. Haha, <laughs> looks like I was wise to ask you kids to help. Thank you. Happy, happy. Ricky, really happy. Do At last, we can start constructing the deciphering machine. Here, take this. To compensate you for all the trouble you went through. Thank you. I'm going to have so much quest checking off to do after stream tonight. My spreadsheet is horribly out of date, and I need to get it up to date to make sure that we don't miss any side quests. All right, very good, very good. Fast travel me to here. We want to go talk to Kallion. Give me a party change. Let's go talk to Kallion and get this staff that chat said is pretty good for Melia. How long have I been live? About two and a half hours, according to Twitch. So, I don't know if we'll be going to Volag Mountain at all today, to be honest with you, chat. We might just side quest this entire five-hour stream, to be real with you. Kalyan, I must speak with you, brother. Brother! Good day. Melia, this is a keepsake from father. Please take it. Father would have wanted to fight beside you in battle. Please keep him close by you. I have placed a great burden upon you. Please forgive my failings as an elder brother. But keep this with you always. Not only father, but I too will be by your side. Do not forget this and stay safe on your journey. Please take it. Crown Princess. The Imperial Staff. Three slots! That's insane. I want that right now. Yeah, it's just a buff, and it even gives a little more ether defense and auto attack damage. Don't mind if I friggin' do. Uh, take these off first to make sure I don't lose them. Yeah, remove... Oh, dude, you can just remove all weapon gems. That's so convenient. Imperial Staff. What is this, Night Glow Staff? It's only two slots. Way less defense. Not worth. Not worth. Alright, then I want, uh, I want that electric plus three back. Give me two electric plus threes, and then we'll also add an ether up three this time, probably. Yeah, ether up three. Boom, that is super good on Melia. Ah, looking good, looking good. Let's go. Wait, did you get something else? Oh, yeah, you can actually change the staff to look like the Imperial Staff, I assume. Sultnar Staff, Imperial Staff. Right, we gotta go with the Imperial Staff. Like, com like, come on, obviously. You gotta. Gotta get level four affinity on Shulk and Melia. It's gonna be a little while, probably. Kallion's cool, I like him. Still going to be going to Colony 9? Most likely. I'm going to go to Frontier Village in Machna Forest first. But before we do that, we should change the time, because I probably have some more people to talk to here. In Alchemoth. Do, uh, side quest to do in Alchemoth. You love to see it. So let's go get these two quests. I also want to switch back to Ricky. So that we can hopefully get some, uh, to look at him spin. Look at him go. Play as Ricky. We'll move a little bit faster. And also we want to try and get as many, uh, affinity boosts on him and Ryan as we can. Hello there, friend. What can I do for you? Yes. Naroth. So, you are the travelers that Ruthon was talking about. I don't remember who that is. Actually, I actually have a favor I'd like to request of you. You know what I refer to, Yes. Tell hero upon Ricky, tell, tell, tell. Man, you do talk big. Give me that affinity. When it's time to do some work, you always leg it. What are I talking about? Ricky, you have no legs. What, you, you do, what? What do you call your feet? I guess you just have feet, and then, like, your feet are connected to your stomach, so I guess you wouldn't have legs, huh? Hero upon work hard and listen harder. Did you forget? Did Ruthon not tell you? The deciphering of the ancient texts, remember? Oh, yeah, it's the guy I just gave the deciphering machine. I remember him. What Birdman talking about? Ricky, forget it. <laughs> Ricky, you are my spirit animal. Ricky with the Titan set is hilarious. He's literally a ball of spikes. Yeah, he looks like a durian straight up. I looked at it last stream. Remind Ricky, please. Intriguing. You claim to have failed to retain this invaluable knowledge. Could this perhaps be an issue with memory formation? Note to self. Dissection, research, and analysis of Nopon subject mandatory. Dissection? D -d 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 Dissection? You want make Ricky's wifey pawn and all Ricky's little pawns sad? Ricky, get mad. What? 
An individual of your nature? Has a wife and children? Intriguing. Most intriguing. I love this conversation. I could conduct valuable research into Nopon breeding habits. Uh. Go. Bring your mate and offspring at once. Never. No, never. Ricky say big no. Change the subject. Or Ricky no help you. Well, progress has been made since your help last time. The deciphering machine is now operational, but there is an issue. Its accuracy, you see, leaves something to be desired. At this rate, our research may never truly reach completion. Thus, we intend to improve our deciphering machine. For this, I'd like you to go and collect some materials for me. Can I count on you? Yeah, why not? Uh, I've already got most of it. Oh, this is the guy that needs the five green diodes, and I only have three of them. Rip. But we've already got all the Ostis remote units, which is good. Thank you for helping. Deciphering the text will shine much light on our origins. We can look forward to some great discoveries. I'm counting on you. Easy peasy, hero upon take care of it. Let us aim to resolve it as quickly as possible. Nice. All right, so we just got to go grab some green diodes from the Hyantia tomb. We can do that basically whenever we feel like it. This this person is so far away. That fast travel probably isn't even worth the amount of time it saved. It must be really annoying for Ricky to get his fur all wet like this. You think? I mean, it's got to be, right? Ricky looks like he glides as he falls. It's so good. I just realized you've been dragging Alvis on these side quest adventures. Yeah, dude, I mentioned that earlier when we were first started stream, when I noticed as well, because I forgot at the start of stream, and I was like, dude, it sucks to be Alvis. He's going to, like, four months pass, he's going to be like, please, can I take you to Volok Mountain now? And then Shulk's going to be like, one more quest, Alvis. Just one more. We're so close. Dragging poor Alvis all across the Bionis. His visions didn't tell him he'd be stuck doing all this for us. Hello, Vidian. Hey. Lighthouse manager Shalin used to be my classmate. She always got good grades, always the top of the class. So I thought that she'd end up working at the Imperial Palace. But she volunteered to manage the lighthouse instead. Maybe it's because she likes the sea so much. All right, but give me hey. a quest, though. You're the guys that helped Lucy... Lucy... Lucinia... I hate this name, right? You know, to get over her dislike of the other races of Bionis. I heard it was a group of palms, so I thought it must be you. After you did that, she started talking to me again. But she's really cold. Ah, this is Crisis, yes? Yeah, sounds bad, all right. I think it's all because of the wing decorations. That's why she's still giving me the cold shoulder. You see, I broke loose in Nia's wing decorations. I got some for her, which looked almost exactly the same. But she said she didn't want anything from a half Hyantia. She never used to say nasty things like that. What happened? I love that Vidian's character model, her head keeps shaking back and forth whenever Ricky starts dancing around. It's so good. I want the old Lucinia back. I want her to remember what she told me that night. Uh, so I need Morning Dew Ice. You gotta get it from Befalger Pedestal on Valak Mountain only at dawn. Alright, well, we can't go to... Well, I mean, we can go to Valak Mountain, but I'm not probably not gonna do that today, so this quest will take a while, but we'll get it eventually. You're gonna help me? Oh, thank you. I need some Morning Dew Ice from Valak Mountain. You can only get it at dawn when the ice sparkles. It should be near Befall Your Pedestal. Oh, is that the thing you have to do the super jump to? I think it is. Oh, I can't wait to do the super jump again. Easy peasy. Hero upon take care of it. That's right. Leave it to us. Oh, give me that affinity. Should check the age of Melia now, too. I don't think the game tells you Melia's age. I'm pretty sure that came from a bonus thing that Xenoblade Chronicles did, if I'm not mistaken. But I know Melia is 88. Oh, it does tell her age. Never mind. When I looked it up the other day, I looked it up the other day because I wanted to remember, and it said, like, it doesn't say it in the game, but it tells you in this uh, Xenoblade uh, information thing that was released. But I guess it does tell you in the game. Whatever I read must have been horribly inaccurate. She's 88, though. What Xenoblade Chronicles 2 characters would you compare, compare the Xenoblade Chronicles 1 characters to? What do, you, what do you mean by this? Like, what characters are most similar, or, like party composition or what? Because I'm going to be real with you. I told this to RTK the other day. He, like, I told him he's going to love Ricky, and he said is Ricky as good as Zeke from Xenoblade Chronicles 2? Which Zeke is, like, the best character from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. He's one of the only, like, three good characters in that game, in my opinion. 
And then I said, I'm going to be real with you, RTK. I think every main character in Xenoblade Chronicles 1, except, I don't know, maybe Ryan or Sharla, but even then I also probably think Ryan and Sharla. Basically, every main character in Xenoblade Chronicles 1 is better than any character in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. The end. Even Z. But, uh... So, if you're like, who would you compare them in terms of, like, how they act or personality? I don't really think there's much comparison to be made, because Xenoblade Chronicles 1 is such a better cast. It would, it would be like a... It would be, um... What's the word? It would be a disservice to the Xenoblade 1 crew to compare them to the Xenoblade 2 crew. Let's make it, like, midday, see if any side quests pop up. Just want to be certain before we go. Doesn't seem like it. I would compare Melia to Nia. No! Melia, or not Melia, Nia is, like, awful. She was one of the worst characters in that game. I would say. Let's do... Let's do... Nah, we just gotta agree to disagree if you're gonna say Xenoblade 2 is a great game. I think Xenoblade 2, at best, is a meh game. And on my personal opinion is that it's just bad. Like, at, at best, it's maybe passable. But I, I really don't like that game for a multitude of reasons. There's no need to get into that. Uh, let's go to... I, I, the Aerith Sea map makes me so mad. <laughs> it just makes me want to die. Uh, I think now we finally go back to Frontier Village. And get some stuff going there. Hello. So. Let's go ahead. Oh no, my nose is itching. Oh, it's itchy. Alright. Any quests to turn in or to... Oh, there's a quest to accept. Alright, alright. Alright, so just one quest to accept during this time. Zeke to Rhine? I wouldn't compare Zeke. I mean... Again, I just really don't think any of them are really comparable, personally. I mean, if you had to compare Zeke to someone... I... It's yeah, I guess it would be Ryan because they're both kind of a little goofy, but I don't know. Zeke would be like some kind of weird mesh between Dunban and Ryan, but it went horribly. You would think like that sounds amazing, but instead it's like, eh, it's fine. Zeke is cool. Zeke is a good character. I just think like I just think that Ryan and Dunban are better. <laughs> My granny pawn going to be 160. Want to make her some sparkly clothes as a present? Apis Gold Nuggets, perfect to represent long life. Want friends to go get me some. Alright, I have none of those. Oh, it's on Volag Mountain, of course. Can friends do this task? Me prepare cloth and wait for friends here. Alright, we'll get to it when we get to it. Change time. Let's make it night. Oh, uh, goodbye, people that were just standing in front of me. You have now evaporated into the ether. We also have some heart-to-hearts to do here as well, don't we? No quest to turn in or to do, huh? Wow, I was expecting more. Uh, let's do... Morning. Monolith's next game is apparently some sort of medieval fantasy game, so I don't think we'll be getting Xeno Saga remake soon. Should mean a new IP, though. I would definitely, uh... I would give pretty much any new IP Monolith Soft did... A fair shake. I would try it. So, I am interested. Do I really not have any quests to turn in? And only one quest spawn? I thought there'd be a little bit more than that. Wrong buttons. Ah, oh, there's another quest. And there's another one. Okay, this is more what I was expecting. It was like somewhere between three and five. I think this will get us there the fastest. Bam, 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 bam. I 
I just love seeing Ricky jump, man. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. I really hope when they do that Sony event, because they did say it was supposed to be sometime in June. Uh, I really hope when that goes down that we get some news on, like, Horizon Zero Dawn or Spider-Man. Speaking of, like, potential sequels or remakes or new IPs, etc. Man, I want that Sony event so bad. I can't wait for it. I hope I get to stream it. Hello, Sherry. I made you the leader of this place, didn't I? Hey, friends. Have you seen Gadada around? Tell Hero upon Ricky. Tell, tell, tell. Yes, I would also, words, like to know. I hear he often venture out into Machna. He go out so often that his absence affect his work. Maybe he's secretly doing bad things. Can friends go out into Machna and find him? But Machna is where you get your pollen ore materials from. There's nothing strange about him going out there to get them, right? Ah, uh, true, I guess. But he never used to go away for so long. Maybe he's been eaten by a Machna monster. Ah, that terrible thing to say. Gadada too clever to get eaten by monsters. Alright, gotta go find Gadada. Maybe we can get information from Gadada's Nopon friends. When I have time, I will go and ask. Easy peasy, Hero Pond take care of it. Let's go. Leave it to us. Give me that affinity, boys. All right, and the other quest is down in the underground place? Yeah, 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 yeah. Boom, boom. Who could possibly need something from me down here? Hop. Hello there, little Nopon. You saw what you need? More and more Nopon come to the come to me complaining about toothache. I came up with good treatment, but I do not have enough materials. Classic. Ah, this is crisis. A few years ago, I was every Nopon's port of call for medicine. Now a hatchling know-it-all called Medi is taking all my business. So you want me to kill Medi? I'm on it. But I can barely see my patients because of the pain in my knees. You have knees! Ricky said that you don't have legs! How do you have knees? I, I need a Nopon biology class, and I need it now. Vang Milktooth, which we've already got three of four. How nice. We've only got to go find one more back in Satoru Marsh. Thank you, Hiropon and friends. I knew you would do it. With four Vang milk teeth, I should be able to continue my treatments. Easy peasy. Hiropon will take care of it. I want to be able to fix people quicker than Dr. Medi can. Take care, but hurry. I'm on it. We'll drop in on Satoru Marsh at some point. Ricky wasn't in class when they were teaching anatomy. Apparently not. All right, so I think we have some heart-to-hearts to do here, don't we? We should do those before we go back into Machna. Uh, yes, we have three. Shulk and Ricky, Dunman and Melia, and then Ricky and Melia. All in Frontier Village. So, where are... Let's check the heart-to-hearts that are easiest to get to. Can't view that one. That's not the one I need. I know there are a lot of heart-to-hearts up at the top area. Some right here. Do all of Ricky's family. Where's the heart to heart? Right here. Can't view that one. Bum, 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 bum. And then there's another one right down here at the pollen place. Don't mind me. Oh, dude, Gadada is the guy who we passed up on being the leader of the place who's normally right here. That's who she was talking about. Ricky and Shulk. Let's knock this one out. Ryan, if you would just uh, sit on the bench for a brief moment. At the pollen works. Achoo! Frontier Village's famous pollen works. Wow, Ricky. Great machine. Is it all made from wood? Tut, tut, tut. Shulk say wrong word. This not machine. Because it's not made of metal. Yay! Shulk writes, machine has metal. No pawn device use no metal, so not called machine. That actually makes a lot of sense. Now that I think, I haven't noticed a lot of metal in the village. Ricky and no pawn at one with the forest. If forests not have metal, no pun not use metal. That's very resourceful of you. Long, long time ago, no pun make many, many things. I'm impressed. I'd love to know more about these pollen orbs, too. They light up and produce heat, but they never burn up. Yellow and blue orbs are safe to eat, but red one, not so safe. I saw a red one by the lift. It looked tasty enough. Shulk want to eat red one? Ricky not like red ones. Ricky's stomach go thump thump, then squeal squeal. If Shulk eat and finish whole red one, Ricky give Shulk metal. Sounds like a challenge to me. 
Ricky no need red orb anyway. Oka make yummy food for Ricky. Is that what makes you so bouncy? Maybe I need to eat more orbs. That is a nice little conversation. I love the heart-to-hearts in this game. Uh, we still have two more to go. It must be these two here, or it could be the one at the very top. Those are the only three options left. All right, let's see if it's this heart-to-heart. Whoops. Almost went off the edge. Yeah, here we go. Mysterious Sanctuary. 